In this video, I'm going to move a static site that I've actually made in Excite Pro over to WordPress. And obviously I want it in WordPress because it has a ton more features, I can use plugins, etc. So I've just set up a static site in Excite Pro and I've uploaded it to my server. So there's a few things I need to do in order to import this site over to WordPress. So first of all, I'm going to get out Notepad so I can jot these ideas down. I need to make sure I know what the domain name is. Like sometimes people use HTTP or they use just www. With this I've got the dub 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 so I need to make sure my WordPress blog has the same enforce dub 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 because otherwise any page rank that this site might have got for HTTP would be shared with the new dub dub dub. So make sure you've got the URL of your domain name right. So instead of being like that, that we know that it's going to be this one at the top. The other thing I need to do is make sure I've got my page extensions right. Because say this site's been around for a while and it hasn't, I only set it up this morning, it might actually have some page rank for the particular pages on the site and we need to know what these are so we can set up permalinks etc. So if I just click on each of these titles, I'll know what these are set up. So when I put it into WordPress, then I know what the names of the permalinks should be. Uh, so I've got bookkeeping and these have all got a HTML extension on them. And I've got a sitemap. So let's copy that down. And uh, I think there's what is accounting is my home page, so I need to make sure that I've got that written down. I'll just make a little note because it doesn't have any uh, permalink structure. I'm just going to keep a note of what this page is. Okay. Now if your site's also been around for a while, you might also like to use SEO Quake and check the backlinks to your site to make sure that they're all in order and that there's no links broken etc. And if you've got more pages than this, just copy out the URLs for all of them. Now there's a few ways that I can set up WordPress on this. I can go the really quick way and just install WordPress straight over the root of my domain, changing this home page that I've got here uh, to the same home page as the theme that I'm going to use in WordPress or I could set it up on another blog and work on that on a subdomain like blog work on the site, get it fixed up and then move it to the root of the domain and that's what I'm going to do because it's more cautious so if something goes janky or goes wrong I've still got this domain up people can still come and visit and once I'm finished working on the site in a folder I'll just move it up to the root of the domain. So I'm going to install WordPress on a subdomain and to do that just going to go into my domain um, account and install a subdomain. So go down to Fantastico and I'm going to Go to WordPress click on for a new installation and I'm going to get version 2.71 and I'm just going to choose the domain and to put it in a directory called uh, test so then I'll move it up to the root when I'm finished working with this and it's going to Got a really good password like test and I'm just going to install this.
Now if I go to that uh, test account that I set up, we've got the default WordPress on there. I never put in a title at all, um, so it's just as it was. So now we've got WordPress in a directory called test and we've still got our site on the root of the domain. So let's move on to moving WordPress over. So I'm going to log into the back end of WordPress and I'm going to install some plugins. Platinum SEO, the redirection plugin by Urban Giraffe. And a sitemap plugin by Archnold. I'll write it down here anyway. Um, and they're about the only three that I'm going to install. And then when I come back in the next video, I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, now that I have my plugins installed, the Google Sitemap, Platinum SEO, and Redirection, just going to go down to our settings and just make sure that we have the search engines turned off. So I'm just going to turn this off while I'm making the clone site, if you like. One of my pet hates is the default theme, so I've just popped in another one that I had on my hard drive. It doesn't really relate to accounting, but I just can't stand looking at this thing. So that's the end of this video.